Hi ho, 420 MSP back with Dwayne Robach from Blue Star. How you doing, Dwayne? Man, I'm doing good now that I get to finally talk to you, Harry. It seems like it's been forever. Happy New Year to you and to everybody out there at uh, 420 MSP Nation. You yeah. know, uh, with the holidays and all, I've been kind of going through a 420 MSP withdrawal. So it's good to, you know, get that injection started today. So I'm looking I forward know. to it. All right. Yeah, I, I, I know the we everybody kind of scampered off for about a month there, it felt like, which is good. Well-deserved rest. Um, well, hey, I want to talk about the Safe Banking Act in the U.S. Congress. So for those of us that don't know, what, what is the Safe Banking Act? So the Safe Banking Act is actually uh, defined as the Secure and Fair Enforcement Banking Act of uh, 2019. And so, um, you know, summing it down, um, I mean, you can go out there and, you know, read the Congressional Act um, that the Senate posted out there. But uh, what it, what it you know, proposes is to allow um, banks and businesses to work with cannabis industry, uh, with people in the cannabis industry without uh, fear of uh, retaliation or retribution. Um, essentially, you know, providing people in the cannabis industry something that they have not had, which is access to banking um, and uh, banking institutions that traditional retailers um, enjoy, you know, so they'll have access to uh, capital, FDIC, um, insured banks, and, you know, things like that, instead of having to uh, always go out and, uh, you know, raise capital through VCs or angels, you know, and um, it treats them like a regular business, which, you know, in my opinion, they, you know, should have been treated, you know, from uh, day one. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what's interesting to me, uh, and thank you, because um, you've actually filled a knowledge gap for me, <laughs> so I appreciate that, but what's interesting to me back at the landscape level is uh, we've had a, a change in the administration at the federal level and the, the state elections and so on. Um, they'll obviously have to reintroduce this act because it's a new Congress that was dated in 19, but I I think uh, the, the signals you know, the needle's starting to move towards um, more liberalization of the uh, legislation, if that makes sense. It does. It does. And um, I'm hopeful that, um, you know, this administration sees the opportunity that the last administration didn't. And, you know, I'm not trying to get political or anything. No, like no, that. no. I understand. You know, don't really, yeah, don't care, you know, which side of the aisle you're for. But, you know, when you look at the cannabis industry, you know, if you look at uh, 2019, I believe it was uh, somewhere around 210, 220,000 jobs that were um, 100 percent committed to the cannabis industry. And then, you know, when you look at uh, ancillary businesses that have attachment to it, you've got over 300,000 jobs. And that's pretty much on the back of at that time. 11, um, you know, states that had allowed for full adult use. Mm -hmm. So if you multiply that out, um, you know, across uh, the other, you know, 50 states and, you know, you factor in, you know, territories, you can see where this is one of the fastest growing industries and the opportunities out there are, you know, just tremendous. And, um, you know, personally, um, I think, you know, once, this, uh, you know, this virus, this pandemic is, um, you know, once we have really and truly rounded the corner and we're seeing yeah. a, a light at the end of the tunnel, you know, I think it presents this administration a great opportunity, um, you know, given that, you know, we've got record unemployment right now. Um, it can be a real shot in the arm for, uh, for, you know, the United States, the cannabis industry and the economy. Um, you know, to, to be able to provide people those jobs. And, you know, these are above minimum wage, you know, paying oh, yeah. jobs. Yeah, absolutely. Well, sure appreciate the check-in with you. Let's not wait so long, my friend, <laughs> to I know, do it I again. Know. <laughs> I know. I'm looking forward oh, to it. Yeah, love the wallpaper. Very cheerful. So uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us in 2021 again, Dwayne. Hey, thank you. And, uh, you know, wishing everybody a great year. Stay safe and stay, stay healthy. Yep, absolutely. All right. And thanks, Jenny.